guys, the Tricky over here. Hey guys, the Tricky over here. Today I'm gonna be going over my mains goals for Canadian Open 2017. So just to get this out of the way, Canadian Open 2017 is a Canadian cubing competition. It is an official WCA competition and it is being held in Calgary. I'll put links in the description so like the information for the site and where you can register. It'll be all be on one site. And then I'll also leave links in the description to where you can buy all these cubes from the site that I bought them from. So just to get this out of the way, I am Canadian, which is why I'm going to this. I was looking for like um competitions in my province, and there was one in Calgary, which is extremely close to me. It's only like a couple hours a drive away. So I decided to ask my parents if I could register, and sure enough, I could. So, I'm going to go over my main goals for this competition. So I'm going to be going over these in the order that I'm competing in them. So, the first event is 2x2. Two two. Also, the event I'm competing in is 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, Skewb, and Pyramids. So, I use the Zinghen Goguan 2x2, two two, which I have set up with Marlube in the tracks by simply spreading open pieces and dropping some lube in there. So this is a pretty good cube. I don't know if you guys saw my review. I wouldn't really recommend it if you have something like a Weipo or a Chu Wen. It's a really good 2 by 2 though. Like it is amazing. And like I recommend it to beginners only. Because it's a really cheap budget 2 by 2 Corner cutting though, not good. It can't do line to line. And you can have pops that break the puzzle. One time that happened to me when I was trying to corner cut, one of the corners like came off, but the entire internal piece was still in there. But it wasn't like the cap came off, like how you can do that. The pieces, like how you can take off the cap, it was like all of that came off too, yet the corner stock stayed in, so I had to super glue them back together. Which, let me tell you, wasn't fun. And, um, yeah, so my goals is to get a sub 13.5 average, and for single, I want to get, like, somewhere below a 7 second, 7.5 single. So that is all for 2x2. The next event I'm competing in is 3x3. Where at the moment, I just have a Rubik's brand, which a lot of people are surprised when I just show them the yellow side that doesn't have the logo, and I'm like... And then I show them that it's a Rubik's brand. Because this is extremely well lubed. It's a V2, which means it's tiled and not blocky. Like, it's not really blocky. This is kind of my main at the moment. I have a um, Mofang 3x3 stickerless. Which is taken apart because some of the corners are broken and some torpedoes are missing. So it pops quite a lot. So that's taken apart. And I ordered a Diane Zanchi to replace this with because I like old cubes. Like, not necessarily old cubes, but I like cubes like that. And I got the 50mm size in DIY kit because I like mini cubes. And the Diane Zanchi is one of the best mini cubes on the market. Like, even up to date, it is still a good 3x3. But, yeah, this can corner cut actually, up, like, about up to half a cubie. Even, like, reverse cuts are pretty good. You can do, like, that much, really, like, with these. So, yeah, I, my goal is to get a sub one minute solve. I guess one, sub one minute average. And that is all for 3x3. Three three. After that, it is lunch. And what I'm probably going to be doing for lunch is going to Tim Hortons. Because I know that they have pizza there and all that stuff. But that'll get my hands all greasy. And I want to be able to practice in lunch. And what I'll get there is probably like a grilled cheese panini. That's what I normally get. They're really, really good. I recommend you get them. Also, just some cool things to note is now for my unboxings, I'm going to be using this knife. I really just wanted to show you guys my knife, because I think it's so cool. It's 
pretty big. It's really sharp. And then something that I kind of want to have a little discussion about is what's in here. This is a butterfly knife. It's a trainer, of course. In Canada, real ones are illegal. Here, I'm just going to angle up my camera a bit. So, I'm really good with these. Um, at the moment, I have two of them. Both of them are bench-made. This one has dragons on the handles. I got this just a couple days ago. And, um, the reason why I wanted to talk about these is because since I'm a cuber and my fingers are, like, doing this and stuff, I'm not really su surprised that I like playing with these as well. If you guys don't already have one, I recommend you get them. They're really, really cool. If, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not the best with them. I know a few tricks. I know one really cool one that I'm going to show you. It's a cool one. So yeah, those are just some things that I wanted to show you. And then... So yeah. The next event after lunch is the um, Pure Minx event, which I actually extremely, extremely like Pure Minx. It's my main event. I'm really good at it. Yeah, I find it really, really fun to do Pure Minx. Like, I don't find these two puzzles that fun to solve, but I find the other two extremely fun. So Pure Minx is... I'm in a dilemma whether Pure Minx or Skube is my favorite. Because Skube, I think, is really fun, and I do as well Pyraminx, so they're kind of both my favorite. So, I use the Moyu Magnetic Pyraminx. I have set everything up to my likings. The tips are amazing. When I first got them, I forgot to say in my unboxing, but the tips were so sandy and awful, like they were so dry. I lubricated them now. Now they turn amazingly, and I lubricated the whole puzzle. It turned really fast. When I solved it, I actually got so close to my PB, I got 5.36. It was such close to my PB, because if you guys don't know what my PB is, it is 5.30. Here, I'm sorry, I'm just doing a little solve right now. This is actually a cool scramble. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick solve, because I accidentally messed it up. That was a really easy solve. So, yeah, um, how I set it up is I just put a bit, couple drops of lube in the tracks, and I lubricated the tips, so they now turn amazing. Next up is the final event I'm competing in. It is Skube. So, for Skube, oh, also I forgot to say for Pyrrha, my goal is a sub-10 average. Hopefully sub-8.5, not sub but I don't really know. So my main for Skube is the normal Moyu Skube, not the Moyu Magnetic Skube, or, or any of the other cool Skubes, just, just the Moyu Skube. Just, just normal. How I lubricated this, and you guys, I have a tutorial up there, so you guys should go see it, is by basically you take out one of the centers, and then you basically take out the rest of the pieces, like, not, like, all the corners and everything, too. And then just drop some lube in each corner. So that's how I lubricate my skews. And I also took out the ball bearings, as you can see on this piece. So I'm just going to quickly put it back together. My goal for skew is still, like, just like Pura. Pura, I'd say it's a sub 8.5 average. For skew, I'd say a sub 10 average. So my is actually pretty loose. I might tighten it because it pops quite often. But yeah. So what I'm going to be recording with is my iPhone 4, which is cracked because I dropped it at my friend's house. And basically, I'm just going to show you guys what the quality will look like. Here, so I'm just going to be like... It's not like, the best quality, but it looks better than it appears on camera. It's actually pretty good. But this is what I'm going to be using to vlog. I'm just going to be walking around like, oh, 
time for me to do beer minks, and I'm, I'm hopefully getting a tripod. Hopefully. If not, I'm just gonna get my friend, who I was saying was coming earlier. Well, actually, no, I didn't say that. This is my second take of this video, because the first one, my skew popped at the end. <laughs> And I was recording it with this, and I can't pause recordings on this. So, of course I can't pause recordings, so it'll be a very long video. Um, it's a two-day competition, so there will probably be eight parts, four parts for each day. Because I'm not going to be recording, like, that much, because like I said, I'm going to be taking it in different parts. So, yeah, this is going to be like my vlogging camera. Like I said, if I don't get a tripod, my friend, he does pure minks. He's coming to the competition, not to compete, just to, like, come, because he wants to, because it's free for spectators to come. So, um, he, I might get him to record if I don't get a tripod soon. Sorry, I'm just playing with this, it's, it's, it's my dad's old knife, so it's, it used to be, like, a bright green. Now it's, like, really dirty. Not for me, though, I've only had it for a day. It's rubber, it's cool. So yeah, those are my mains and goals for Canadian Open 2017. If you want to buy any of these cubes, link's in the description. I'm going to link them to the websites that I bought them from. They might not be the best websites, but they're pretty good. It shipped in a day. Like, it literally shipped later the day that I ordered it. And they came within four days. I live in Canada, but it was being shipped from Ontario to Alberta, so it's pretty good shipping. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is Tricamer. Peace out.